An A2RL car looks pretty similar to a normal racing car, until you notice one thing. Where does the driver go? Well, they don't. Instead, there is an array of high-tech equipment to tell the car where it is. The GPS system is used to self-localize the car. It's a dual antenna GPS, one antenna on the nose, the second above the virtual reality camera pod near the roll hoop. This allows the car to know where it is on the track to a very high precision, within tens of centimeters. Radar sensors send electromagnetic waves into the air. These bounce back from obstacles, and by counting the time the waves take to go to obstacles and come back, the car estimates the distance to obstacles around it. LiDAR sends out an array of laser light and also counts the time for it to bounce back. That allows the car to make a dynamic 3D picture of obstacles, both moving and fixed, at a very high frequency. So the car generates pictures of its surroundings hundreds of times per second. Each car has seven cameras, six at the front, one at the back. The car needs this many for a system called Camera Lock, which the teams can develop so the car can detect whenever it is passing or being passed, and tracks the car from camera to camera. So there you have it. That's how a car navigates the Yas Marina F1 track without a driver.